Junkyard Junkie back here with another video. Today we're going to be working on this 2010 Mazda 3. If you've seen my previous video where I took out the transmission in this car, you may have seen that the transmission mount had cracks all in it. So we're going to be replacing that today. So let's go ahead and pop the hood and get started. Okay, so first we need to get the battery out. If you have your covers on there, they just pop right off. Then get you yourself a 10 millimeter. Go ahead and disconnect the ground first. Then we can take the positive off. Okay, next you want to take off this PCV hose. It goes from here, follow it back, comes right here. We'll just take it off back here. Just like that. And now we're going to take this clamp off. 10 millimeter or a Phillips head. Okay, now that we have that loose, pull that right off. We've got one more 10 millimeter to go right here. Now it's ready to come out. It'll just pop out from the clips down below. Okay, now it's ready to come out. You just gotta take this MAF sensor off first, press down, pull out. should pop right out. Okay, next we'll take out this battery box cover itself. If we look in here, we have one 10 millimeter, two 10 millimeter, and a third 10 millimeter right there. Also, you wanna go ahead and take this cover off of your ECM. Just pops right off. So let's go ahead and get these three tens. Now that all those are free, we also want to take these connectors off. Okay, now that we got the box ready to come out, we just need this to come out. So, gotta press down, pull out. Press down. Pull out. Both these will come off and you can slip them right out, right there. Now this whole box will come out. All right, so there's our transmission mount. We have one bolt there, one bolt under those wires right there. We have our center bolt, and then we have those two back there. We gotta take out also, this holds this bracket on, so we'll go ahead and take that off too. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take this 10 millimeter off. The rest are 17s. What I do with this, just pick this up, put it to the side. Okay, before you go any further, you wanna go ahead and support the transmission with a jack and a block of wood. Okay, now you wanna get a 17 millimeter socket and a wrench or a impact like this. Okay, we'll just get these final two over here. As you saw, the transmission shifted a little bit. We can use the jack to realign us. Go ahead and take this cover off. Now we can actually get to the mount itself. So all that's holding on there is this. So we'll go ahead and take that out. And now our mount will come right out. As you can see here, we have cracks all down it. It's even worse on this side, so time to replace it. Okay, so as you can see, you always wanna compare your parts. This one looks great. It's got everything correctly, and they are the exact same, except for this one isn't worn out. Okay, to put it back together, we just do everything in reverse. If you look here, there's the little point. And then if we look at this, that's where that point will go. So we'll stick this right down in here. 
just like that. Now we will align the transmission with this. I will show you that now. Okay, so if we look down in here, you can see that the transmission isn't completely lined up. That little stud right there would be going in that hole. It's a little off. Okay, so now we got it about lined up. I lowered it down a little bit, so we're gonna go ahead and start our bolt. Okay, we'll just get this started. This will help line up our transmission. It needs to come down just a little bit more. Okay, now I can actually get it started. Make sure you get some threads before you ever impact it down or else you run the risk of cross-threading it. But it's going down in there good. Okay, it's time for this piece. Your air box actually connects right there and there. So we'll just put this back in here, just like so. Get all four of these started. Okay, now we'll just go ahead and run them all down. All right, now we'll just go ahead and torque them all. Okay, now that we got everything torqued down, all you're gonna do is put these wires back up here, put that little 10 millimeter nut back on. Just like that. Now take all these wires. We're gonna put the battery box back up here and put the air box back up here. Okay, so we just wanna put our battery box back in. Easiest thing to do is take the bolt out and line it up with the hole. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and plug up these computer wires. So the longer one will go to the furthest out. So let's stick that in there, push those in. Now all you gotta do, I like these connectors, you just push down, T here, click. Perfect. Now we'll go ahead and put this cover back on. And we'll tuck these in here so we can get to the air box. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put the battery in since that's just an easy thing to do at this point. We're not gonna hook it up just yet. Okay, we're gonna put the breather box back in. I went ahead and took my bolt back out. Let's get this in here. I'm gonna try and push down on some of these wires, just get it past them. Just like so. And over here, you got an intake tube, it goes right to the box. All you gotta do is line it up, cover it up. Get this back on your throttle body. Just like that. Your PCV hose, put that back on. And your MAF sensor. Okay, now we'll go ahead and put this brace on here. It's got a thing to tell you which side goes to the front, but it just goes up under here, connects right there, and right here. So we'll go ahead and put those on. Put 
the one on over here. Okay, so you just get this other one started. We'll run them down. Push the battery back a little bit. Perfect, now we can put this back over here. Now we'll put our battery posts back on, tighten them up. That one's good. That one's good. Now then, as you can see here, this has a little tab and it will go on the front plate of this. These wires will also fit into there. If you take it off, you should know where it goes. Push that clip back into there. Now come around and go up to there. Finally, put this lid back on. There we go. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please give me a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.